Welcome to Declassifying the Paranormal. Here we reveal the secrets that sinister organizations attempt to conceal from the world, objects and entities that could shake the very foundations of what we think is, and is not, possible. Today we have secured documents belonging to the SCP Foundation, and will reveal to you the nature of SCP-6021. Item Number 6021 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures There are no pursuits for containment at this time. A growing consensus between Foundation personnel generalizes that SCP-6021 may exist as a currently unexplained element of the human psyche. Description SCP-6021 is a potentially anomalous behavioral abnormality observed within certain members of the species group Homo sapiens. Subjects affected by SCP-6021 develop the following symptoms. Increased self-reflection Increased desire for self-expression Increased artistic ability SCP-6021 is generally induced when subjects view specific places and events on the planet Earth. Sites commonly include sunsets, sunrises, open landscapes, usually inhabited by some type of grazing animal, and large objects, both artificial and natural. Subjects will often stare at these areas for long periods of time, purportedly subconsciously designing metaphors around their own observations of the view to help describe themselves. After some change occurs in what the subject is observing, they will disengage from their hypnosis and attempt to describe what they saw within the next three days, often utilizing different forms of artistic expression including writing, drawing, and music. Discovery slash historical evidence Dr. Alfred Black of the Anthropological Patterns Department was instrumental in identifying key attributes to define SCP-6021 as an enigmatic and reoccurring phenomenon. His research has uncovered more than 100 probable appearances of SCP-6021 throughout human history. One such incident plausibly produced Edvard Munch's The Scream, of which Munch was possessed to create after becoming transfixed by a sunset over a Norwegian fjord. His painting of The Clouds' as actual blood to apparently represent the scream of nature evidences a likely connection between it and a requisite manifestation of SCP-6021. Description Extension An example of a written expression taken from a subject can be read below. Apocalyptic shades of fiery red and dashing violet dance across the receding tide. Silhouetted land, backlit by the falling sun, is visible in the distance, its utter darkness ushering me toward it. Soon, I exclaim, soon I will be with you, my quiet abyss, my final peace. The insular call reverberates within me as I try to bask in the fleeting warm glow, only to be greeted by a waning satellite's cold reflection. Without the light I can no longer hear the distant cry of my sweet escape, so I take my leave. Just my footsteps remain, a minor disturbance that will go unnoticed. The tide comes in over the next few hours, it swallows the evidence of my ever existing there wholesale. The sand settles and nothing is left to disturb the sublime serenity. In a debriefing interrogation of the subject, they admitted to feelings of unfulfillment and isolation, caused by a self-perceived nature to derange environments of which they intrude. In a tangential conversation, the subject depicted, at length, their desire for inner tranquility. Thank you for tuning in. We hope that you enjoyed this broadcast. If you did please subscribe, like and share it around. If you have any particular case files you'd like us to cover in future broadcasts leave a comment below and we'll get around to it shortly. Tune in again tomorrow for more revelations.